Questions? So I realize that you all didn't get to discuss your research beforehand, but in light of Emma's um, presentation earlier, do you now, are you now open to revising your hypothesis to suggest that bugs are not evolving necessarily to become more disgusting, but simply to become less boring? <laughs> I like that idea very much, and I think it deserves further study. Uh, my guess is that uh, that's not going to be the primary mechanism driving the, the evolution of their appearance. Uh, as we saw from the data this, uh, earlier this evening, uh, that's not the, the primary source of protein uh, for hunter-gatherer societies, for instance. Uh, so I think it's, uh, it's likely to be a secondary effect. Uh, based on your work, would you say that it's possible for the metamorphosis of caterpillars and the butterflies to be an evolutionary development um, as acknowledgement of their own hideousness? <laughs> when you say acknowledgement of their own hideousness, I feel like that's getting to speculation about kind of the, the intellectual life of... Uh, <laughs> and I think that goes beyond the scope of the work. Self-selection. Self <laughs> As someone who's interested in computational modeling, <laughs> could you explain further why K5 was 2.67? <laughs> I'm sorry, 4.9, I'm sorry. Um... So I'll say a few words about the structure of this model. Uh, so, you know, as, as you can see at a glance, right? Take the first equation. The disgustingness is changing over time uh, according to the, um, the existing level of disgustingness, right? And here I'm, I'm assuming that there's going to be some uh, cost, metabolic or otherwise, to maintaining disgustingness that would otherwise vanish in the absence of the pressure. Uh, there's, you know, some driving force from the, uh, the human population by hypothesis, uh, yeah. and I have no reason to think that that's linear, right? So I, I left that as a free parameter. Uh, and then similarly, <laughs> there's some driving force from the human response, again, uh, you know, as I described uh, by hypothesis. Uh, and similarly, that's a free parameter to see what it turns out to be. And the, uh, the result turns out to be that it goes to the two and a half power. Uh, and you saw how well that captured the, the <laughs> force. Right. Uh, I'm not sure that I can offer you a very satisfying intuition for why that precise value but basically, it's more than linear. You know, the, the, it, that uh, has to do with this, these increasing stakes. The better people get at overcoming the defense, the harder the bugs have to work to overcome it. So thank you for that wonderful presentation. I was wondering if in your very careful studies you detected any correlation between sort of the disgustingness in appearance and the deliciousness in taste. In other words, can we look forward to a bacon bug in the future? I think I speak for all of us when I say, I sure hope so. <laughs> all right, Dr. Justin Ruffle. 